Hello, everyone. <laughs> Howdy. We here. We here. Deuces. We here. Deuces. I know it's been a long time. It's been three long years. Three long years? Yes, For what? but I have a really nice garden right now, and I'm going to share it with you guys, and we're going to do taste tests, and we're going to do... Uh, like combination taste test mukbangs. I haven't done a mukbang, what? but I love them. Yes. What's a mukbang? A mukbang is um, a, a Korean word and because the Koreans um, started this trend of videos where they sit down and they eat and they talk. Koreans started that? Yeah. And they call it mukbang. <laughs> my ball go. Which is basically <laughs> dinner. Hey, hey. My family ball, dinner. I ain't never heard no mutt mong. You've heard. He's don't don't my, believe. My don't believe the hype. Mutt okay. bong. So anywho we got, this is little man. It's a bong. Little and you're man have is a mutt back. Look at the hummingbird, baby. Yeah. And um He right there. Look be, at it. He's looking I, in I the, see it. We'll in be the in the garden. And um, I'm going to get back to my weight loss See, thing as well. Oh, I have so many big things coming. Big things coming. Big thing coming. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. Yeah. to my garden video I'm back YouTube and for those of you who are new to the channel this is Allo y'all this is a travesty and disgrace this is my lemon tree <sighs> my golf clubs over there it's, uh, it's a golf bag clean out my my husband cleaned out the base. We had this lemon tree chopped down because the lemons were nasty and it was covered with this board over here and was ready to plant for the spring and my husband had this bright idea to till this dirt for my garden. So he takes the board off and he cut digs around waters digs around the roots cuts the roots can't get it up can't get the bulb out chain it up tie it to the track no movement now the stuff is just sprouting up everywhere that's a hot mess i got san marzano tomatoes mater challenge 2019 Gonna party like it's 1999. Mm. I have many. I just pulled and, and weeded and, and tied it up and everything. But I have many ripe San Marzanos. I'm gonna make some boss tomato sauce, y'all. And these are rainbow peppers. I got one pepper off of there, it was purple. This looks like it's going to be red. And these, I think, are going to stay green or maybe orange. They turn different colors after green. And they're not getting big like the peppers in the store. So, I really don't know when to pull them. <laughs> I guess I can pull them when they're green, but they turn other colors. 
I have looks like two carrots coming up. They're rainbow carrots. I planted them too early. I need to start some more so it'd be ready to plant in the fall. Ooh, it's all out of focus. How's that? So it looks like I have golden ones right there. And I have a little one. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you see that laying down? And it's got water, so it just laid down on me. So it's trying to come up. <sighs> Shout out to Urban Soul Farmer. She's a master gardener, urban soul gardener, or farmer, I can't remember, but she's she's a master at gardening, my girl, and I had some kind of disease, I forgot what she called it, but it's, it's still there, kind of, and see if I can find, look at these little white things, they were all over, these are my purple hole peas, really tough, you know, and I had made this insect repellent for it. Oh, this is this is what it really looks like. See those those little bumpy looking things. Made I made this natural insect repellent for my kale because it was eating up my kale, and I used it on here. But I had ladybugs, and I was spraying it on here. And she said, "Spray it on there," and and cut off the bad stuff. There's one that's really infected. I don't know if it's, it's not focusing. See that, that bumpy stuff? I don't know. You see, yeah, that's, that's, it was all over like that. So, but I got plenty of ladybugs and I, they, when I sprayed the repellent on, on here, the ladybugs went away. They went over to the tomatoes. And she's like, cut the stuff off and put it in a plastic bag and throw it away. And I'm like a a, a part-time gardener. I ain't got a whole lot of time to spend in the garden like that. Maybe once a week if I ain't running the streets. And uh, I was like, well, that ladybug, she said, get some ladybugs. I, I got plenty of ladybugs. Let me see if you see this. I got plenty of ladybugs, but they didn't like the insect repellent. So she said, well, spray it with water real good. And I've been doing that and it went away. But I don't know if these purple hole peas are any good. They look dry. I don't know when to pull them. When's a good time to pull this stuff? Is they, are they ready for harvest and shelling? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's my purple hole peas. I. I've always had problems growing these San Marsano tomatoes. I grew them from seed. I've always had problems with the purple hole peas. I grew them from seed. They, they came up this year, y'all. Hmm, I don't know how good these purple hole peas are going to be, but there will be a taste test on the San Marsano tomatoes. And I'm going to make my first tomato gravy sauce. And then I have these are called Better Boys. And I've tasted these Better Boys, but I'm gonna do a, a taste test with someone who hasn't tasted them for you. But let me tell you my opinion, these suckers is good. I mean, these taste like tomatoes when I was a kid. They have, and, and you know, tomatoes are not alkaline. But I, I, I'm having a struggle because I love growing them and I love eating them. I could just eat these tomatoes with some garlic, garlic pepper, which has salt in it. And eat it like, a, like an apple and with some garlic pepper. Now the skin, and I don't know if it's because they've been out here in the weather, the skin is tougher than what I'm used to. It's got a, a really chew to it but the flavor of the tomato is top it's top dog y'all top dog i got some oregano oregano is good for when you're feeling under the weather what i do is i cut some leaves off and uh boil it or steep it in some hot boiled water and drink that or, you know, just cut some leaves off and put it in a recipe. Fresh oregano, baby. Never grew that before either. 
Yeah, this is my kale. I'm struggling with this kale. It's been, oh, it's been uh, eaten up really bad, and I've been treating it with the um, homemade or organic repellent. I haven't treated it lately. I think I got rid of everything, but I need to repot it. What I did was I mixed uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, vinegar, and water, I think. I have to look up that recipe and put it in the description for you. And um, sprayed it. You know, after I water it and get water all on it, then I spray it every time. I, after watering it every time. And it's doing better. It's doing better. It's got some drying out. It's, it's got some holes on it, but before, as soon as the leaf grew out, they was eating it up, y'all. You know? I, I was like, dang. So I, I do need to repot this, though. I, I replanted something bigger so it can really come up. And I can have something to eat. Okay, so we bought another lemon tree, but I think this needs to be repotted or planted into the ground because it's a miniature tree, but I don't think these lemons are going to get much greener. I mean, much greener much bigger than than this because um it's just you know the pot is pretty big but it's not that big limoncello my, i think they mired my aloe vera these were growing around the plant around the original one i showed earlier in the video and i broke them off and potted them separately so I have plenty of aloe vera and I got some avo for you, baby. Woo, like butter. Yes. Where that? Where are all the avo at? Where at? You got me humping. Oh, I better not sing it because I don't own no copyrights. Yes, hunty, hunty, hunty. Guaca, laca, shaka, laca for days. Oh, yes. I, oh, I, I give it, I give my album to September. September. Yes, it's going to be on. Yes. It's hot out here. I'm sweating in the sun behind Rosemary. Rosemary needs some work. I ain't done nothing to Rosemary. I ain't been using it. I ain't been cooking that much, honestly. But I've got to change that. But so much is coming down the pike. I got a lot for you guys coming. And, uh, yeah, it's on and cracking. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my garden video. Keep it pushing.